Today on Puzzle Time with Tony and Tyler, we are shooting... Free the Marble. And... The Robot Cube. Both from Phylos, now back in stock on PuzzleMaster.ca. B-Roll. Yeah, that's kind of what mine did too. It like angled. Yeah. So you know, the thing is though, there's cutouts on here. So like, yeah. what are the cutouts for? Like, I feel like well, the cutouts should do something. Boxes, I think, I don't know. But I, I feel like the cutouts should be part of the solution. But it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it was. The marble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe the marble. Interesting. Interesting puzzle. I thought it was cool. Yeah, it is. It's cool. I, I like the design. It feels neat. I just the solution is kind yeah. Of, <laughs> hey, the solution's yeah. a little hokey, if you ask me. But yeah, you know, all in all, well made. Yeah. Let's move on. Didn't even know that existed till this morning. Yeah, interesting. So, Robot Cube. This is this is a neat looking one. Yeah, I guess these used to be popular like six or seven years ago. That's that is, I had that never is heard what of we were told. Before. I've never heard of it either. And this looks interesting. Yeah. So okay, gotta, so have you played with these before yet? No, but I saw I saw that there's like a what did it say here? You gotta arrange the shapes into a robot configuration. Yeah. Well, like that's what you're trying to make. Yeah, there. A little robot dude. Little robot guy. Yeah. So, so and then there's a string that keeps everything attached on yeah, so you kind of just start to So I, f I feel like as a kid I played with toys like this. Yeah. But I mean maybe the puzzle hopefully the puzzle is a little hard. This is what a level 8. So I mean hey, my feet supposed to go. Let's see here. Hold on. Let's, let's let's get this configuration here right in the middle. Dude, I got this. Woohoo! There you go. You did. did is that how it's supposed to look? Like it. And then his feet go oh, sideways. Feet go sideways? Yeah. Got the circles. There you go. Yeah! Okay, now you gotta get it back into the cube. See, I, I think this is one that's gonna be easier to solve than it is to put back together. I think ah, that putting it back together is gonna be hard. hard. There you go. Like this. There you go. And then like, haha, <laughs> no. Okay. This has to go a little way. Okay. Again. There you go. There you go. Got it. And the hands are up. 
See, I don't think you have it exactly like this, but you're get you're gonna get it here. I can see, I can see it already there. We've got it. Uh -huh. It's not the exact configuration of this, but you've got it back in the cube. There you go. Robot head up. Robot head up. There you go. That's pretty cool. That is. That's a fun one. Not like crazy hard. I mean, we did it here, so can't be that hard. Yeah, it's fun to play with. Yeah. So that's the robot cube. Yeah. Level eight from Philos. Philos. Yeah. Now newly back in stock on PuzzleMaster.ca. Now we've got our Pavel stuff that we're running through. We're getting Pavel down. Series number three. Down yeah, here we only a got bit. a few left. So I'm gonna. I'm Did gonna we pull do that Optimus last time. This no. No. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do Analakes. I will do. What is the name of this puzzle? Okay. Put the rest of these aside. So these are. Pavel's Puzzles, new stuff from Pavel's Puzzles that just came in. So we did a whole bunch. We're going to go through two every week and we've been doing, I think it's our third week doing this, right? Third third yep. video. So uh, yeah, we've got Analinks. Okay, here. What, what um, one do you want to do first? Let's this is just a card your, game. Okay, yours is, no, no, this, yours is interesting now. I, so it's a level, what is it? What is it? Level eight. It's called, what is the name of this wow, puzzle? it's got an advertisement for Analinks. Good timing. There we go. Okay, so it's called "What is the name of this puzzle?" Literally, you got these cards. There's some sort of pattern in here, and you got to figure out what the name of this puzzle is. That's the puzzle. What? You, this is the puzzle. What is the name of this puzzle? That's the name of this puzzle, and you got to just figure out. There's some sort of pattern in this, in these cards, and you just got to figure out what the pattern is and figure out what the name of the puzzle is. So here, now here's the interesting thing. This is I, there's a little R in the corner. There's letters oh, yeah. that are X different. And G. Right. So like what if we took like the X? Where's the G? Is there a G? So there's a G here. I got another G. But the bigger G, I'm saying. So maybe there's something. Are all of the or do you just think that are these the only case? Okay, so we got one M. Two A's. Three A's. Three A's. And a G. An R and a G. Marge. Marge. Okay. I think there's words now in these, how they're separated. Now here's the other thing, okay. Now look at this. So this is like the, the different shapes in here. So let's, let's sort it by shape almost here then too. Is there, oh, but it doesn't line up. See, I was thinking there's a square and like a square, but there's not in each of these. So maybe, there, maybe there's hints on here. 48 cards and no instructions in the puzzle with no name. Can you master the letter patterns and discover the puzzle's secret identity? Letter patterns, eh? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know how into this we want to get. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear into it. this. No, we're good. But this, this is interesting. So th there's a start. It give the people a, a feel for what this puzzle is. Let's uh, let's put it away. I'm not good at word games, man. No, I, I like them. I feel like I'm decent at them, but that's fun. That's fun. It's trying to something unique, right? I feel like this is very different from some of the other puzzles, and maybe not as physical as some of the other like. Take this apart and get this out, type thing. But work your brain in a different way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's uh, what is the name of this puzzle from Pavel's Puzzles. Let's move on to Analynx Series Analynx. A. Complete all seven puzzles plus meta puzzle. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, I'll you take grab one. one. Puzzle. I'll grab one. Welcome to the Analinks puzzle. Analinks are a new kind of puzzle and they're invented by designer Pavel Curtis. So that's the dude's last name, Pavel Curtis. So then first notice that each puzzle piece has a large letter etched into it. For the first, for your first clue, you must arrange those letters to make a single word. We call this the anagram clue. Second, assemble the pieces into a single complete loop as described earlier. 
When you've done that, the edges of the pieces on the inside of the loop will form the outline of a picture, a silhouette, of some familiar shape. Oh, cool. Okay. We call this the picture clue. Cool, yeah. man. Okay, so put yours back. We'll work on this one because I'm not real good at spelling. Right, right. Well, we're doing separate ones. Dude, come on. Come come on. on. We're not good with words. You, okay, you do that one. Okay, I'll do this I'm one. I'm going to go with... Okay, can I, this is what I don't get. To, hold on. So we assemble these little ones and then, then we take them all apart and put a big... Do a big one? Is that what no. it's saying? But I don't think it's going to spell like in order money, but I can see that money is there. And so that's just one of the things we have to figure out. I think this is all going to go together differently and not in an order that spells money when you look at it. Wow, okay. Well, these pieces look like they fit. We'll just keep going along with that idea. Oh. Wow, okay, never mind. I got mine. There it is. Wow. So it is, uh, there's money in there. So, okay, let's move on to the next one here. There. Dude. What? And then see, there's a shape in the middle. I don't know what that is. Looks like some sort of beans or pe peanuts, maybe? Maybe peanuts? I don't know. Ooh, look at this. See this? This shape has a funky design on it. Is that supposed to be there? I don't know, it looks weird. So if you look on some of these, here, now look at this this one here. So if I put this piece here, it doesn't quite line up. Eh, maybe it does actually. I was thinking maybe that lined up better. It actually does. This kind of lines up. Like... Oh, I think I got another one. I think I got another one. There it is. What the heck shape is this? What is that? It uh, looks like uh, one of the- A cash register. It's a cash register oh. from the side. See all the buttons sticking out? Okay. I like yeah, that. yeah. I was thinking one of those, uh, like a compass or like a degree. You know what I'm talking Maybe. about? Like a square? I, I think cash register on that. Maybe this is some sort of like peanuts, cash register, some sort of like grocery store thing. Dude, it's the tea. I don't know. Trade me. Okay, yeah, let's go there. Okay. Fine, get a weird hmm. shape on this. Yeah, there's some little, it's kind of odd. There's like a lot of any in parts, any parts kind of on that. I feel like mine is literally just making a puzzle piece. You see? <laughs> it does. It actually looks like it's making a puzzle piece. That's funny. Okay, ho ho. Look at this. Look, I, I got two feet, a little tail. It's coming together here. I see it. I see it. There it is. It is a pig. It is a pig. It is a pig. I'm telling you, man. Grocery store. We're getting we're getting somewhere here. Dude, what is this thing? Like peas or beans or something? Maybe uh, peanuts? I don't know. What if I turn it like this? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, look at this. These ones have funky, like, edges on them. You give me the funky edgy one. Okay, fine. I'll do the boring path. Do these ones. I can't do these. Eey. This one is terrible. I tried this one. It just does not it seem fun. Okay. Turkey. Turkey. There it is. Okay. Let's keep rolling. This is fun. This All is right, fun. I'm liking this. Okay, screw that one. Let's leave that one to the side. Okay. Yeah, turkey. Let's see. The ones with a little bit of like stuff on the inside is almost easier. Oh yeah, I can see some sort. Of, see again, fish man. It's like some sort of food thing. There's a there's a food theme here. Hold up, there it is, a gun. We got a gun. Okay, so gun, turkey, pig, whatever the heck that is, beans or? Cash register. Cash but you register. see some of them got this down arrow on them too? So we got two left, 
Two left, we've got the pig, the turkey, beans, a gun, a cash register. Hmm, this one's weird. I don't know. This one's weird. This is a really hard one, this, this one right here that you had before. Dude, a leg. A leg? A disembodied leg? Okay, let's do it, we got one more, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, what do you think here? This one's really weird. I think if we pay attention to maybe like where, no, it can't be that. This, this is something W's wrong. got. Let's move. separate these two. Okay, let's put this one. Oh. Oh, oh man, I what? like that. No? Okay, try it in there. Ah, oh, it's close. Okay, now what does it almost look like it's making? It looks like it's a puzzle piece, man. It does look like it's a puzzle. Or a turkey? Is it like some sort of weird... We already got a turkey. Tur like turkey uncooked? Or... Where are you looking? You know, like a turkey with the feathers all cut off and stuff. There you go, try that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is a puzzle piece. It is piece. a puzzle piece, okay. Okay. Okay, so what do we have done now on this? We've got... First, blah, 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 clearly arrange, so... Should we start with the letters now? You must arrange those letters to form a single word. But there's a lot of stuff on here. This go keeps going. There's a lot of different things. Look at yeah. that, the whole back of this. So, cool. you know, I'm happy with where we got this. That was awesome. There's more to it, but that gives like, you know, the first step. Cool. Good. Whatever. These are cool. This is this is a well thought out puzzle. I like this. Yeah, that was actually really good. Yeah, fun fun design. Well, I think this. I think actually this this is this my has been favorite the one so far. Yeah, yeah, this has been my favorite Pavel's puzzle so far. That's our puzzles for today. <laughs> That's our puzzles. I like that. Yeah. I like that Pavel's puzzle. That's really cool. Analinks. Cool. Some fun ones. Phylos, Philos. How are we gonna say them? So. Now, YouTube, we always talk about what's happening on YouTube. Uh, one, of the, one of my favorite videos I watched was from Puzzle Guy this week. He released one on the Vinko Puzzle Blesk. I think we've done, have we done that one? Played with it? I played with that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. good, and it's like that one that like, it comes apart and you have to put it all together. I think it's, it's like is it this one? Six pieces? No, it's not that, no, it's, it's not similar. That it's similar to that though, it's got like six pieces and they all kind of like go together. Oh yeah, it's the piece, of, like just the wooden logs. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So there's that, and they show us some new Pelican stuff. There's some new Pelican things that, that are coming out in the next week here. Mm -hmm. um, so he kind of does a bit of that. Uh, Chris Ramsey talks about the hip flask. Uh, so he does a whole video on that. He has a sweet intro with like whiskey and he's pouring it in and and uh, it's good though. That hip flask, when I, when I, when I saw the solution on Chris's video, it's good. Pretty good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's yeah. you, You're on the right, like, I mean, obviously it's that, that maze in the middle. Thing, yeah. yeah, it's a sequen sequential discovery. Really cool. Chris loved it actually. I think it looked, he had a, he had a good, uh, a good, um, good vibe for that one. So that was good. Mr. Puzzle um, does Jigsaw 29. I thought he had done it already. I guess he hadn't. So Jigsaw 29, that Uesaka puzzle, if you want to see Mr. Puzzle's take on it, he does a video on that. And then something fun that we did this week. So uh, last week, actually, Aaron, Aaron Shoots Our Solutions. He did uh, a puzzle ASMR video. I didn't know what that was until yeah. he did it. Automated something. So it's essentially, Some essentially like whisper. You play with sounds and like you clink the puzzle together so it'll be like, like that right so aaron shot a video like that an asmr we're gonna play around with it you know he kind of does this whole thing but you, you have to check it out asmr puzzle review kind of from aaron but there is legit guys that do this so there is a a guy I came across called ephemeral rift now he doesn't do any real great puzzles, but he does some different stuff and he has a whole thing. If you uh, find ASMR relaxing and helps put you to sleep, check out Ephemeral Rift. He does ASMR puzzle videos a bit. Who knows, maybe it'll become a thing. Check it out, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much me, but I, I, can see, I can see the benefits of it being relaxing. Like you can, you know, you watch it, like, oh, that's kind of like soothing. Okay. Take away the stress of the day. Here's some like, you know, puzzles are pretty like noise, noise for them, right? Like, 
<laughs> no? So relaxed. Doesn't do it for you? Uh, yeah. So for you, yeah. It's yeah. soothing. You okay. know, and they talk in a nice voice. But yeah. So thanks for watching. That was uh, all we got for you today. Check us out on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Uh, always new stuff coming out there. And um, yeah, solutions on the YouTube. That's Lots it. of solutions. Tony's getting back and doing some reviews after the uh, craziness of Christmas is past. Dude, even January. Oh, man, there's just nuts. People love puzzles. And so. Turns out. Yeah. Yeah. So keep watching. Check out more reviews by Tony. Uh, thank you for watching Puzzles Time with Tony and Tyler. We really appreciate your viewership. All, I don't know, however many of you there are. There isn't a lot We got now. a couple hundred now. Uh, yeah. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy it. If you have more suggestions of stuff we could shoot, stuff you'd like to see, give us a shout. Let us know. We've got the inside take on some of the uh, Puzzle Master stuff that you won't get anywhere else. So thank you for watching, and we'll uh, see you later. That's it.